Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today lecture is very interesting and it's very important. In today lecture, I will teach you how to visualize protein in pymol and how to make high quality publication image for, for your manuscript. So for this we will use two softwares. One is the pymol and the other is the Microsoft PowerPoint. So let's start. Let's open the pymol. This is the user interface of the Pymol. We call it GUI, Graphical User Interface. Now I will open the protein. How to open the protein in Pymol? Go to File menu and then click Open. And then browse for your protein. This is my protein. As I have previously simulated this protein, so it has water molecule and it has sodium ions. So first of all, we need to remove the sodium ions and water molecules. But first things, when you open the protein, change the background into white. Always work in a white background. So how to change the background? Go to display, tap, then click on the background and then take the white background now i have changed the background into white color now i will remove the water molecules but before this i will show you how to show the sequence of this protein so you can show the sequence from here this is the s if you want to show the sequence click on this s button so we have shown the sequence of this protein this green color is the sequence of the protein these are the sodium ions and the red color these are the water molecules you can hide it again by clicking this s button so in this way you can show and hide the sequence of the protein now i will remove the water molecule so go next to complex t leaf and click on the action button and then go down and remove water now i have removed water if you check the sequence, there is only protein sequence and the sodium ions. Now I will remove the sodium ions. How to remove it? Click on the first sodium ion. Then go for the last sodium ions. But when you click this last sodium ion, so click this with shift button like this. So we have selected all sodium ions. Then put the mouse cursor on any of the sodium ion and click right mouse button and go down and click on remove yeah now we have removed water we have removed the sodium ions now we can do many things with this protein first of all i will tell you that how to zoom in and out this protein like this so click the right mouse button don't release the button and move your mouse in upward direction to zoom in out and move your mouse in backward direction to zoom in like this okay and how to rotate your protein click left mouse button and move your mouse in different direction in which you want to rotate your protein so in this way you can rotate your protein how to transfer this protein around the screen click the middle button of your mouse and move your mouse in different direction in which you want to transfer this protein if now let's hide everything go next to complex delete and click on hide button and click everything now we will reproduce this image in this image there are two residues alanine 134 and cysteine 138 and a substrate pza all these three things are shown in stick model so let's go back to pymol you can search for the alanine 134 from here so 134 this is 131 
this is 132 and this is 133 and this is 134 lme and now search for 16138 so this is 16 uh, so this is 136 this is 137 and this one is the 138 16 138 now i have selected these two residues and the third one is the substrate of this ligand i have selected three residues and now i will show these residues as a ball and stick model so go next to this selection button whenever you selected something this will come here now rename this this residues okay so i can rename this from the action button and rename selection i will give the name active site that this is my active site and hit enter button now i will show these residues as a stick model so go next to active site and click show button and show a stick remove hydrogen atoms go next to active site and click on hide button go down for hydrogens and i will hide only non-polar hydrogens now i will change the color of carbon atom because in this picture it has been shown in magenta colors so go next to the active site and click on c button and color by element and choose this combination these are different combination available i will choose this one now i will draw a distance between the nitrogen atom of alanine 134 and nitrogen atom of 16138 so how to draw the distance go to wizard tab and click on measurement okay here here you can measure different things like you can measure distance you can measure angles you can measure dihedral angles so we will measure distance here it gave you the message that please click on the first atom so click on this now please click on the second atom click on second atom now the distance has been drawn between these two nitrogen atom now i'm done then go and click on this done button i will hide this label 4.2 angstrom i will hide this so how to hide it go next to measure one you can toggle on and off this measurement by clicking on this measure button like this i want to show this distance but i don't want to show this labeling so go next to measure 01 and go to label button no go to hide button and hide labels you can also hide dashes the distance you can show back it by clicking on s button and show dash like this and you can change the color of this distance it's now yellow you can change the color to green like this red like this now we have a picture but we will do some editing in this picture to make it more beautiful like this if if you check this picture there are balls on each corner so we will do this editing by using command line in pymol okay so we will give this command set stick ball on now we have balls on each corner but the radius of this stick is a little bit thin as compared to this picture so we will make it get thick so how to do it set 
stick radius we will set it to 0 0.3 oh, now it's okay the last thing we will give a command set ray trace mode we will set it to 3 now we have the picture now we will save this picture how to do it go to this button click on draw ray so it will draw the picture change the dpi of the picture to 300 this is the publication quality dpi for the image and then click on draw first and then save image to a file click on this and give a name to this picture like i will show image one and save it open it now i have created this beautiful picture okay now we will do the labeling so we will do the labeling in microsoft powerpoint so open it and then insert the picture we have made let's remove these things then go to insert button and insert picture browse for the picture and open it okay we will crop this picture because there are many white spaces here and here so we will crop it and now we will do the labeling go to home button and click on this to insert text alanine 134 change the style of this font to whatever you like this is 16 138 And this is the substrate PZA. Now we have created the picture and then save this as save as PNG or JPG or whatever you like. just this one now go to the folder this is the picture i have made 